Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be transplanting some strawberries, some tomatoes and stuff like that. And it's a very windy day. The wind has come down drastically, but as you can see by the way the leaves are shaking, it is still very windy. So I have separated these smaller plants from the mother plant so I'm going to be putting them into a raised bed over here and it's not a large raised bed it's just part of a barrel so I'm just gonna put five plants in here make sure I'm not burying it too deep leave enough space between them so that when they send out the runners they will the runners will have somewhere to send root and because they send so many runners you don't want to be filling your bed with suckers because eventually you're going to need all that space and I'm going to be preparing another raised bed for these strawberries so that when they send out more runners I have somewhere to put them So there are the strawberries that's going to be in this container and as it send more runners I'm going to be putting some in that container there now I'm going to be transplanting my tomatoes as well before I can transplant the tomatoes I have to transplant some of my Chinese cabbage out of the garden because I have a little bit too much that I need in there so I'm going to be putting some of them in the raised bed so I'll just go ahead and do so now There are two of them here, so I'm just going to take one. I just watered them with some garlic water because, as you can see, the leaves are being eaten.
I will relocate some more as soon as they get a little bit bigger. So these ones are going to be used to replace those that got eaten out of this bed. I'm not going to be adding any more water. And there I have grass growing in between. Now that I got those in, I'm going to move over to the other side of the garden and put in the rest. There's some grass trying to grow in my garden. It is going all the way through the mulch. And now that I've dug this section, maybe I should just put a tomato there. I bought these yesterday. And the soil around the plants is so dry, I can't figure out why. A greenhouse would have their plants drying out to such an extent but as I really needed it and I didn't see anything better so I just took it because I really didn't want to be driving around to too many greenhouses not why excuse me not why we have a certain level of quarantine still in place. You see how rich my soil is? Look at that. There's one. There is two. There is three. And this is a spot alone. At least three worms. When I first bought my worms, the lady that I bought it from, she delivered it and she put a few worms in my garden. But last year I did not see a lot of them. 
but this year I covered the garden with mulch and so I have been seeing pretty much everywhere I dig there's at least one or two and what I have been doing recently I was sifting some casting yesterday and the day before and so the castings that I got when I'm finished with the crates that the castings were in I see a few hatchlings I had a few hatchlings sitting on um, in the bottom so I just turn some water in it and wash them out into the garden because it is impossible to move them with my hand because they are so tiny and I didn't want them to stay in the I really didn't want them to stay in the um, in the container and just die that seemed cruel so I just washed them out into the into the garden I'm gonna have to wet this because there is cardboard right where I'm trying to dig and it is very hard Now I'm through the cardboard. Usually I would till my soil, but this year I decided not to because I want to see if there is any really any difference. Okay, so that is the last of my tomato that needs to be transplanted. I'm gonna check on them at the end of the day and to see how they're doing. I need to transplant two of these sweet peppers out of here, but not just yet. I have two butter squash. Oh, I don't think that's butter squash. That is courgette. I've never eaten courgette before, but my sister is always using it in her recipes. I didn't even know of its existence that there is something called courgette out there. So I saw the plant when I went to Home Depot yesterday. So I got myself just two plants, and then I'm going to be using. going to be planting them hopefully they will produce and then I'll get to see what it is like and then I can use it to copy her recipes and then I can give her feedback on how good the recipe is because she has her YouTube channel where she does gluten-free foods and she's called on white gluten-free recipes so you can check that out she's got lots of stuff on there and they're always so colorful and inviting you just want to start eating every time you see those colorful foods okay let me get the courgette I watered these this morning because oh, 
they were so dry when I bought them and practically look like something that's dying it's only the new leaves on it that actually looked good as you can see it has revived to an extent but yeah even these leaves have revived somewhat they were looking quite terrible you see I have dandelions growing here so I'm just gonna take it out and these I'm gonna let them run up the fence Gently separating them so that I don't do much damage to the roots. Okay, one down, one more to go. If I run out of space on my fence, I'll just let it go over the fence and then anything that it bears on the outside of the fence, anyone who pass by is free to harvest it. Oh, speaking of which, I haven't done the outside garden yet. I need to water these some more. And though the soil is moist, but I don't want to take any chance with them just in case. Okay, so outside the fence there, I usually put a mini garden for persons who might not have a garden of their own. So if they pass by, they can just harvest what is there. Just gonna stick this label there so I can remember what it is. Since I'm not very familiar with this stuff, see, I have another weed here. Okay, so that is it for my transplanting for today uh, if you enjoyed my video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel you can always leave a comment in the section below I thank you for watching and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day